boy, was that a high tension episode. You're tuning in to the Rainbow Valley Radio once again. And our dudes just infiltrated the Bloodstone Underground. That's right. They met up with Guido Johnny and pretended to be the mad merchants from Shambhala. And they set up, well, they set up a meeting to do some business with Guido Johnny at the Sultan's Tent. Let's see what the dudes have planned for this episode on Rainbow Valley. Welcome to the Super Journey Dudes podcast. I'm your host, Alex DiFrancesca. I am the GM, art guy, etc. Let's go around the virtual table here and introduce the dudes. <laughs> Dude number one, hello. Uh, my name is Chris Tung. I'm one of the co-founders of PinkCity.ca. And I play Dr. Eugene Pichu, who is currently uh, going by the alias of uh, Colonel... Archibald Flapjacks. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, one of the uh, yeah, we're one of the uh, the mad merchants, uh, magical item uh, merchant from Shambhala. All right, I am uh, Alex. I was going to say my D and D name first, but I'm, <laughs> so I'm Alex Safi, uh, illustrate as well, art boy. Um, but I am Belmont the Dragonborn, a blood hunter. But today I am Bootstrap Billy another merchant of magic sales but uh i'm currently uh in the midst of a throws with a a drug complex that we've decided to name wap wet or <laughs> white arcana powder <laughs> and uh i've got a vial in my back pocket so we'll see what happens today <laughs> yeah i'm uh i'm the third dude mike tongue uh brothers of chris and also co-founder of pinkcity.ca uh toronto-based uh, streetwear brand i am playing aaronarian hey and wheel or aaron for short and i am currently named laughing killer who is also a mad merchant and uh a little uh disappointed that both of the pints of beer that i threw missed last time so <laughs> hopefully hit something today i forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> also your name really solidifies the merchant trio i think you bring you bring us a little protection with laughing killer <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, i thought we were all going in as merchants and then it's face i go in as a merchant with yeah, like two bodyguards <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think Belmont, look I like think Belmont gave up much. the vibe of a merchant. I think Mike was sort of, fully, yeah. Like, uh, Martin, Aaron. He, Mike, at our back. Mike was just a straight face. He was a straight face merchant. He's playing the the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, all cops are bad, but <laughs> I was playing the bad cop who just wanted the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, you got some stuff still. He bought it though. He did yeah. buy it. Yeah, we had a good little dynamic. He, uh, the the business guy, the guy who's like, "Hey, here's the fun side. Like we could be cool too." And then the yeah. no nonsense bodyguard guy. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> like, have them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you when you get when you went in and uh, you guys played off uh, the whole merchant. Um, uh, what do you call it? You played off the merchant uh, act and. Guido Johnny actually bought it. He he's like a little bit skeptical because you guys want to meet at the Sultan's tent, and he's like, <laughs> "It's a weird coincidence that yeah. you know that j- I just guy." Anyways, yeah, I love it. He's he like, put- "Ah, you brought it up again. It's uh, interesting." <laughs> <laughs> you brought that. You go, Every time he said, "I was like, fuck, I'm place. gonna die right now." <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> so weird. You just you yeah. Yeah. Hey, you keep bringing that thing up. Uh, why do I keep bringing that thing up? I just keep doing it. <laughs> so he bought it, actually. He's a little bit skeptical, but he bought it. So summing up the whole thing, like last episode, you guys went into this, the Bloodstone Underground. 
you uh you played it like you're a merchant trying to sell guido johnny some some stuff some rare magic items he bought the whole thing you created a ruse that like these guys came in and uh you know bo jazz and his crew came in and pretended to be uh gelzar's crew that caused a ruckus and then you guys fought them off and helped out guido johnny and now he's like all right you know you guys are pretty cool all right and so now he's meeting you guys at the sultan's tent so what is your plan now what's your what, like what are you guys gonna do i think we're gonna oshi's bar right now yeah, right to meet up with the gonna, rest. Uh, yeah meet up with yeah. the mercs at oshi's bar and then just touch base with them and i guess devise a we'll probably have to devise a plan i'll, well, I'll probably leave i'll probably uh want you to take charge of that aaron because you know sultan's tent better but i guess we'll go i don't i actually don't know sultan's tent better yeah but you know them like if we want to like talk to their staff oh, yeah. or something and be and like you know like set something yeah. up like so they're in on it maybe yeah, yeah sure i could do that um but yeah for now i guess we're just touching base with the mercs and and i guess getting leandra princess of the waste to yeah come up with us yeah i i'm gonna tell zuzu who is my uh invisible uh little familiar buddy to just stay at the uh inside of the entrance of the blown suit underground and just to keep an eye on things and to let me know when people start moving yeah or if anything's happening oh okay. also, also as we leave <laughs> i like I, I assume we've like exited the doors yeah. Because as soon as we right. exit the doors, uh, Dr. UGP just like, <laughs> oh my goodness, that that uh, that act really does a number on your throat. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you boy. did good, Doc. You did real good. Hey, what well, is your guy? To, out of you literally sold it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Verma. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I was... Uh, one of the stars of the uh, the, uh, the school play back in the day, <laughs> all those years ago, all those decades ago. Starts looking up at the skies. Yeah, yeah. Eyes I once had uh, dreams of ah, uh, forget it. <laughs> the acting brought him back. It brought yeah. him too close. To it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I guess we go see where our our friends are doing. If they're all right, yeah, I need to make. Um, a, I had to give a big old apology to to Big Toe Billy. Or sorry, I didn't think big, he was going to make Billy. it. Yeah, I, didn't I think almost he was killed make him. It, to be <laughs> <laughs> Took a little thin on life. Yeah, I honestly don't remember the name of the lizard I was beating up, and I think it's because I generally hate him. But I do feel Gertie, a little bad. We did <laughs> Gertie, Gertie Jenkins. Is that Gertie Jenkins? <laughs> I think Georgie, it was Gertie. Uh, something yeah. Jerry. Either way, he definitely. Broke a table, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, it isn't, a, it isn't a true tavern brawl if there aren't a few broken tables and a bro few oh. broken glasses. And a couple of missed bottles of beer. <laughs> <laughs> I missed <laughs> Belmont pointing at Aaron. <laughs> Someone who's named Laughing Killer can't even throw a fucking bottle. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, Belmont? You, you get right you know now? what? I'm, I'm a little fired up still. It's starting to hit me in the nose and the eyes and the head, but you know, I'm good. Do I look good? Am I still? There's nothing happening to me, is there? Can I, can I roll a perception check to see what Belva actually looks like right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's see here. <laughs> Just like real beat. Oh, that's a, that's a 19 plus 7, Ooh. 26. All right. His eyes look like lasers. <laughs> and like like half what you know like if as if you're looking at like one of those uh like a doll of a of uh a, like a a dragon but like the eyes are like halfway oh, like half you, you know what i mean it just <laughs> yeah. looks like those <laughs> like those puppets that have like their eyes like, like, like the oh, garfield yeah. half the half Gar lid. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the half lid yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the half lid that's the <laughs> yeah permanently yeah the garfield permanently yeah, like, but I, I feel like i'm like wide-eyed <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like his eyes are like bright red and uh and then uh you can sense that he's like he's like tweaking 
<laughs> All right, looking good, Belmont. No, give you a slap on the back. <laughs> oh, that's so hard, mate. I'm just a little fired up. I might, I might shoot something off without knowing. <laughs> oh, what have been so, the first uh, time? <laughs> when you guys are exiting the uh, the Bloodstone Underground, make uh, well, I guess you made a perception check um, against Belmont. Or make a general. I noticed everything yeah, else. Probably as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not very. Thank God, there's Aaron. <laughs> Can I ro roll one for me and one for Zuzu? Yeah, is Zuzu inside still. Yeah, Zuzu's inside. I don't know if he's like through the door yet, or if he's still like in the inner section right now. Okay. Uh, I, I rolled probably one of my very few uh, decent perception rolls. I rolled eighteen. I'm okay, coming off a high that. off that performance, you know? <laughs> I, almost, I almost had the nat 20. So I, have a, I have a 21. I got a 9. Uh, <laughs> it, was okay. like, it was like on the, it was on there, and then it switched <laughs> to the 9. Oh, <laughs> his eyes are so red, he can't even see through them anymore. I was like, yes! It's everything here. It's like, no, it is no. fired up. You feel you feel like you have you got a nat twenty, but <laughs> he's looking at his own hands. I'm just like in. I'm look. I, I found a barrel on the side of the right by the You're front. Like, I'm like I opened it up, and I'm like, you guys like, seen this? <laughs> nothing inside. Laser, more than you've ever seen before. <laughs> Laser focused on something that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a a rope in a barrel. <laughs> oh, um, Belmont, you have Belmont's, to <laughs> We catch Valmont talking to himself in the corner, and he th he thinks he's talking to Zuzu. You see it? He's like, "Ah, guys, now we're both invisible, right?" <laughs> Bad much, you're talking to a trash can. <laughs> oh, no, don't interrupt, mate. We're having a conversation. <laughs> I finally yeah. bonded with Susie. <laughs> just finally talking to me, mate. Yeah, I'm like talking to Susie. I'm like, is Bama talking to you? And Susie's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you guys left an hour ago. <laughs> So uh, from inside, Zuzu. You get, Zuzu only uh, rolled a two, so Zuzu's oh. not, not seeing much. Zuzu had a couple. Zuzu's Zuzu Zuzu getting distracted because I'm asking him if Belmont's talking to him. <laughs> Zuzu's, Zuzu's kind of scared and hiding in, in the Bloodstone Underground. Okay. Uh, what else? You rolled a, a 18, Chris? All right, I so, rolled a 21. Yeah. Okay, you guys see that uh, somebody is following you. And mm. you... Uh, he, he's not like following you, like walking behind you, but he's like, you, you can tell you recognize somebody from the Bloodstone Underground. Uh, it looks like, looks like Parsley Williams, the guy Fucking that you Parsley Williams. You've heard his name because somebody called out Parsley Williams, and then uh, you recognize him. And it's That's the guy. It's one, of the, it's one um, of the guys that uh, was in the fight. Yeah. Uh, that came out and sorted everybody out. Yeah, he kind of got punched in the face, but he went to. Uh, you can you can tell he's trying to sneak his way, acting casually around. Mm. Uh, I guess hey. since Belmont didn't notice, and I'm not sure if Aaron notices, I nudge them and I whisper like, "Yeah, I noticed." Hey, somebody follow it, Nash. Oh, yeah, that's right. Don't, 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 look, don't look behind. Don't give it away, but... <laughs> My eyes start to go to the corner. The I'm like holding Balmain's head still so it doesn't turn up. <clears throat> um, yeah. Is there like a nearby like alley or something we can dip into and like jump yeah. the guy? So yeah, there. Uh, there's a couple of alleys around there. You notice that are you gonna go into the alley immediately? There, once you get out of the uh, Bloodstone Underground, there is. It's kind of like a huge district of gambling lights and all that stuff going down, mm -hmm. and then there's a couple of alleyways on the left and right side. On the left side, that goes to where the inn is, and on the right side, that leads away from the city. Um, towards the end, that would make sense because we're merchants traveling from out of town, right? But I guess if we're trying to, if we're, tr I guess yeah, because we don't want him to catch on that. Yeah, we're maybe maybe move a bit out of town. Yeah, maybe move a bit away out of the gambling district. And then, yeah, 
a bit to uh, then yeah, we'll sneak into an alley. Like ideally, I'd love to ditch the body in the dirt outside of Kashi, <laughs> but I feel like if we're gonna in, in, interfere, like at least the inn is somewhat of a haven for us right now. Or oh, we're not going to the inn. We're just going in the direction of the in inn. That direction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, yeah. We'll jump them. yeah. I feel safer that way because I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll dip into an alley somewhere in there. So you turn into an alley. Uh, you kind of see there's a couple of people and like robots sitting down in the alley, and this robot is kind of like uh, it looks like a beaten up policeman robot kind of like <laughs> just like left in uh just like uh kind of like how you'd see a, a robot in a junkyard just like mm. you know just got parts of him and then there's like a couple of uh couple of homeless guys that are you can tell they're hyped up on the same stuff that sappy is uh, or sorry belmont is hyped yeah. up on and me and belmont <laughs> at this point <laughs> I'm, I'm having wine, personally. <laughs> <laughs> you can see they are hyped up on the same stuff that Belmont is. And if you look closely at them, you can see that they actually have some a little bit of mushrooms growing on them. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh shit. Can we try to find, uh, like, an empty alley? You oh. can make an investigation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I spot the mushrooms, I'm I don't have yeah. time to deal with that right now. Ooh, I got a twenty <laughs> I got a twenty seven. Oh man, nice. And a dirty twenty. Oh nice. I got a fifteen. Alright, yeah, so you you guys can like find a clear alley in there somewhere that kinda leads to the uh the cliffside and there's uh there's no one there. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to avoid this guy or are you trying to no we're trying to get him to follow him. us and then yeah. yeah i'll loudly exclaim like oh let's take the shortcut or, sorry, uh, uh, oh let's take the shortcut chap old chap sir <laughs> all right all right um, oh, i agree and then like can we like stealth and like hide in the alley and then when the guy walks through we fucking jump the dude yeah okay yeah sure roll a stealth Oh, so I'm I, as a deep num, I have. Is, does <gasps> oh, this so does this alley much. happen to have cobblestone flooring and brick walls? <laughs> yeah, actually, because I have advantage to hide in rocky terrain as a deep num. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll give you that. Like I, 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 I rolled a nineteen. Okay, nineteen. I almost had a nat twenty. Uh, I got, I got a nat twenty. I got sixteen. Holy shit. Oh wow! Well. I don't know. That's so close again. <laughs> he was literally just like sitting there. Oh, because you already have like such an advantage. Yeah, my stealth is twenty-eight right now. Yeah, my stealth is like plus five, I think. Oh, Holy shit! Right, plus three. Oh, stealthy boys. My big old. So backpack. you guys are stealthy. You guys might even be almost too stealthy that you avoid him, but he, we, yeah, you can see he's kind of like you notice a, a figure in the alley, kind of like look by and then he kind of keeps on walking and you oh, notice that that was the guy oh I, I i i wanted him to follow us into yeah can i can i can i can i do something can i do something well he's I... walking so you can go behind him <laughs> throw something at a cat yeah i was gonna i was gonna like pick up like, is there where because i guess where are we hiding specifically in this alley that we're like are we blending in because it's empty right yeah, so you're in an empty like, alley. So he kind of like looks down the alley and he sees yeah. there's no one there. So he continues walking down the other alley. Can I like pick up hey. uh, a rock or something? I'm like, no, no, no. Oh. Why, why doesn't Eugene just say something really loud? Yeah. Just like, just like so abruptly he knows or, here. Uh, or like laugh or something. Uh, oh, I'm sure it's this way. I'm still new to town. <laughs> okay, then you see his head peeks up in the corner. And he, he starts like walking down the alley, but he's like he's like looking by and he's like looking down the alley and then he walks he's walking right up to where you guys are. Who's the closest to him currently? Um I'm, I'm gonna thinking, guess that's thinking Aaron. Aaron is the most stealthy, so Yeah. Yeah. Can I be, can I say um, that I, I have a rope prepped and I'm uh the one I'm, yeah. the I'm up? Yeah. So you're gonna tie him up? 
Yeah, so as soon as he comes comes our way, like I just want to wrap a rope around him. I'll say that you guys can create like a trap. So roll to create a type of trap. Well, of hand. Let me let me just roll a sleight of hand. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sleight of hand to create a trap that when he walks by you like pull it. So it like it like Plus, rope across the trick. Yeah, it ties him up or something. Yeah, Can I do like good. a like a flat intelligence roll? Because just like using my like tinkering intelligence to like help make like a cool working trap. Yeah, I got a yeah. game. Alright. Okay. I got an eleven. Uh so he walks by and you you successfully trap him and like you tie him up and he's like, Oh hey, whoa, 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 hey, I don't want no trouble. I'm just walking through the alley here. Hey, well, hey, it right? seems as though you've been uh You've been following us, old chap. Yeah, we don't take kindly to uh, stalkers here. And from where, yeah. from where we're from, uh, Shambhala, that's an instant death sentence. This is what we do to everyone who follows us. Trap or not. It's not our first rodeo, you see. Look, man, we, we, what do you want me to do? I'm just trying to find the nearest store around here. I'm gonna, can I unsheath my sword and uh, roll an intimidation check? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. At can, least I one insight, like, can I insight him when he says that as well? It's only plus two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not bad. It's 18. Nice, nice. I've got a plus <laughs> one. I've never want to roll my charisma. Oh, I'm shit. A deception. I only got uh, a 12 insight. He's like, uh, he kind of pees his pants a little bit. <laughs> and he's like, look, I'm just a henchman. I, I, I didn't, I'm just following orders, all right? And please. I, I don't want nothing. I, I don't want no, no trouble. I kind of want to get, I don't want to like necessarily let him know that we want trouble, but I want to, because we already have Renown with the Blood Note. I want to know who, mm. like obviously I don't think it was Guido Johnny that would ask him to, to get him to fall. Well, might be. We can ask might him just be, what his orders are. We could say, but I also don't want it. I want to see like if we can get some more information out of him while he's scared too about the gang. Like, do you think he might be able to just give us more insight about what we could do after we're done? Like, he doesn't know what we're planning, but like... So, I, so I'm just going to say, um, you know, uh, this magical item business is a dangerous business. If you, didn't, if you didn't get back to base later on, I'm sure your boss will find a replacement for you. What are you? What are you trying to say? I'm sure if I uh, if I didn't come back to my boss, he would know something about you guys. What does that have to do with us? Well, he gave me orders to follow you guys. And why is that? Look, I don't want. I don't want no. Uh, look, I'm good. You gotta understand, you're putting me in a difficult position here. <laughs> oh, that's you know the point. He's charging some spells in the background. He's just like tinkering through his books like, oh, I can't wait. Let me get this straight. You don't want any trouble, but you're following the mad merchants. That's not a good idea. It's in the name, mate. I get, yeah, I get up in his face. You know why they call us the mad merchants, do you? Don't you? <laughs> he just wanted, he wanted me to follow you just, just to make sure that you guys aren't like, you know, sketchy or anything like that. You're trying to play, play a trap or something like that. Plans a trap. <laughs> but how do we know that your master Guido Johnny isn't sketchy when he's sending people to follow us? Uh, I what kind, of trust is, pretty what kind of business relationship is that? I agree. You know what? I'll report back to him and I'll tell him that that's actually kind of fucked up that he did that. Parsley, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're actually a great guy. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, made you pee yourself. <laughs> uh, can I insight check him? Is he actually going to truthfully do that? Yeah, you can insight check it. Ooh, nat 20! Ooh! Oh, wow. That was a funny roll, it like you... fell out of my hand. <laughs> he was actually... He was actually honest about that. Okay. He would act, he's gonna go back and be like... Okay. They, you know, they, they seem like... Honest guys. It's just kind of weird that you made me follow them. <laughs> yeah, I like... I do one of those like... Stroke his... Ch uh, cheek, cheek gently that slap <laughs> like, that's a good boy that's a good boy tell your tell your guido johnny that 
we actually like him. He's a good guy. But if he wants to work with us, there's got to be some trust here. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. And that's, uh, you know, it's not nice. You guys obviously came from out of town. You want to do some business. And uh, I respect that. And uh, I think he's going to respect that, too. And, you know, uh, he was, he's just a little, he's, he's hard to trust. You know what I mean? He's a hard to trust guy. Well, you got to understand him, in the city. Tell him I've got a vial of that WAP that, with his name on it, then. I think, I think it'll cheer him up. I think he, I think he enjoyed it. Uh, please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, you just don't, just don't do what you just did, man. You'll be fine. Uh, just following orders. I don't even want to work for the Bloodstone Underground. I just have to, you know. It's, uh, it's hard to, it's hard life in this city. What do you mean you have to? I have to uh, save my ass, to save my family. You know, understand? I don't want to work for these guys. It's so hard, man. It's <laughs> well, so that, hard working in this city. Well, this intrigues me. Like. <laughs> What, what, what danger is your family in? You don't understand, man. <laughs> <laughs> when I came into this Bloodstone Underground, they completely ruined the whole city, man. They made everybody work for the Bloodstone Underground. <laughs> you're, uh, you're telling me that, that you're forced to work for them. That no one, none of your employees are working freely of their own will. Does that mean Guido Johnny as well? I'm just saying, man, like it's, it's hard to live in the city, man. You gotta follow somebody, offer, they offer you protection in the city, man. And uh, I don't want my family to get, you know, fucked up by one of these gangs, man. Hey, we, we get it, you know, we get it. We're not called the Mad Merchants for nothing. We understand. But don't cross us. <laughs> yes, we're always mad right, at the injustices. Right. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> the main stuff. reason we're mad. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> you see, we chose the name because it, the mad has many meanings, you see. <laughs> not just the violent. <laughs> not talking that we're crazy. Not talking that we kill people at, uh, you know, <laughs> at our whim. We're, we're uh... sensible merchants, really. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, of course. We're just mad at injustice in general and, uh, yes, impoverished uh, communities. <laughs> hey, go, oh, hey, look, look, if I, how, how about this? Uh, I do some work for you guys and you offer me protection. You guys seem like pretty uh, nice guys. I just, uh, you know, the Bloodstone Underground can't know about it because then uh, it's big trouble for me, you understand? Well, since we're on this hush-hush, my friend, how about, how about you go back you tell Guido what you said you were going to say. And then every now and then, you come to the inn when you've got some time. And we'll see if we've got some work for you. All right, okay. The inn, the, the one over here, the, the, the Adventurer's Inn. Yeah. All right, yeah. Got a room up there. Oh, okay. And, and if you try to double cross us, we'll know. We have our ways of knowing. We are magical merchants after all. Roll an intimidation from that. <laughs> I'll pull out like a random. Yeah. I'll pull out like a random. Like, okay, can I, can you give him the help action uh, so he can roll with advantage by like pulling out like a uh, one of my like art pieces? Uh, yeah, and just like just like a random fucking trinket and be like, oh yes, this thing has been on the whole time. <laughs> just like, vague like threat. Yeah. Hey, it's it's not that much better. It's only a six. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is it plus anything? Yeah, that's no, six in total. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, hold on. Let me let me see if there's anything else I can do to. I could probably do something if it gets a little. Okay. Bit. Okay. Instead of intimidate, can I make it a persuasion if I toss some five gold pieces? Oh. Ooh. Um. So you're. So what you're the reason why I said intimidate is because you said we're magical merchants, so don't try to double cross us. Yeah, that was an intimidation. So, so. Uh, so I, oh, was, I was I was implying that there's ways for us to know, aka like, like Zuzu. I, 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 like Zuzu's gonna know what he looks like as soon as he goes back, so I'll know when he gets back there. And I yeah. could also make Zuzu's voice into my voice, so I could scare the shit out of this guy <laughs> if I wanted to. <laughs> and oh um, I, but yeah, but the five the five gold pieces though, like I, I I'm down to do that just so he's on our side. Okay, yeah, 
roll a persuasion then. I think he'd appreciate it. He's got a family to take care of. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a eight. <laughs> you keep adding two. Okay. He actually, uh, that actually sold him on the, the fact that you guys are rich, because five gold pieces. He's like, holy fuck, five gold pieces. That's more than my fucking boss pays me. Why the fuck am I working for the? Oh my god. Please, guys, can you please hire me? <laughs> like, I need a job. You guys are paying way better than the Bloodstone Underground. And honestly, uh, I could go back there. I, uh, you know, what, what? What do you want me to do? Just, t- just tell me something. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do anything, please. All right. Well, I've got a personal request, but I'll clear the air first. I'll let the others. <laughs> you have anything you want, Eugene? Aaron? I mean, just report back and say there was nothing fishy, and uh, we are uh, legitimate businessmen, as we are. I mean, not saying we're not, but. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 we obviously we know if we're being followed, and we know if there's any funny business about. Instead, it's, I'll go back and I'll tell them how it was disrespectful, and that they they don't appreciate that you guys don't appreciate that. Uh, oh no, don't tell them that, that you ever spoke to us. No, no, no. This is your insight, Pops. Uh, oh, oh, well, good thing you told me that, because I was totally going to tell them. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Yeah. So what do I tell them, then? Just say you followed <laughs> us back to the inn and report nothing. Okay. And uh, threw up a couple times. <laughs> Very well. You know what? Why don't you take? Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Just, just you don't even have to go back. Just say that you you went to the inn and then you just watched us and we were just gambling in the inn. Buy your wife something nice. Buy your kids something nice. Man. You know what? You're fucking right. You're fucking right. You don't even Can have to I go back till tomorrow. Guys? No, you can't come with us. <laughs> I put my I put my <laughs> hand on this this guy Parsley Williams' shoulder. That's his, that's his name, right? Parsley Williams. Yeah, Parsley yeah, Williams. I, I put my hand on his shoulder. It's like because that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to go back to the inn and gamble. <laughs> All right, fair enough then. So you can't I can't come with you guys. We just gave you now. It's you, that's irresponsible. All right, well, very. I'll be on my way then. Yeah, get out white, of here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, wait. A single What's favor. That? Right. So, <laughs> I know you were there, and I know you've seen it, and now you know it. What's inside that chest that your boss has under the table? The chest, uh, it doesn't let anybody go. It doesn't, it doesn't let anybody go in there, man. Right. He doesn't any, like anybody looking there. He doesn't let anybody see nothing. He smacks people in the face. This one time, I got a glimpse of it. I saw a talisman. Talisman. Mm. I saw a talisman in there. That's all I'm gonna say. He smacked me in the face. All right. All After right. I looked at that talisman, he smacked me hard in the face, and he said, "You go look at that." <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Um. Because obviously, obviously, Parsley is dealing with some PTSD. <laughs> with the physical abuse, can I? Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to deceive him or if I want to persuade him. My deception's much higher, so it's much more charismatic to lie or like make him feel secure that way. But I have to figure out how I was going to do that because I kind of want him to find a way uh, to uh, get me either the key to that chest or put that chest somewhere where I can get access to it without people in knowing like okay. set it up for me ahead of time i think either way that would be a persuasion all right i'm gonna roll the dice just like uh, my brethren has <laughs> so which oh, one do you want to do 20. are oh, you serious my. oh yes, my god <laughs> it was wow. it was interesting i knew it i had three <laughs> rolls today and they kept fucking rolling off the mat 20. <laughs> wow <laughs> That right. that makes perfect sense too, because he's totally. Uh, you could tell he's totally on your guys' side at this point. You, you flipped, you've converted this this man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this could have gone any way, really. I thought we might have killed him. Yeah, yeah I was so close what, to killing this guy. To be honest. <laughs> so which way do you want? So what do you want to do? Tell, get him oh. to give you the key. Yeah, if he if if that's possible, and if not, the backup plan is for him to put it somewhere 
um, that I can get it without someone finding it. Like either if there's you know a what? restroom. I actually know where the key is. I know where he he hides the key, and then I see him put it. I see him where he puts it every night before he goes to sleep. Do you think it's there right now? I have to look, but uh, you know, I think, you know, I think you know we're going to be associates, so we'll be in contact. Hey, if I if I do this for you, could you, could you guarantee me a, a job, maybe, uh, maybe some uh, protection, something? I, 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 please, some protection against Didn't- the. Didn't I already pay you and you didn't even do anything for us yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I appreciate that. It was just protection. I, I don't want to die. And I don't uh, want my family to die. That's all. Mind job at a time, my chap. Parsley, I'm a family man, all right? You know me. You know, look at me. My eyes are still half <laughs> <laughs> One of them's actually lower than the other at this point now. <laughs> look, 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 look at me, look at me, mate. All right. Just, just don't worry about it, all right? We've done this all far. Right. We've we've communicated. We don't do this much for that many people. Uh, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll be on my That's way. Why there's uh, only three merchants, right? I'll get you that key. I promise. And he he runs off. Wait, hold on. Before he leaves, okay, Parsley, oh. just tell me what you're gonna do right now. I'm gonna go to them. I'm gonna tell them. Look. I follow them to the end. Okay, no, you already are wrong. I told you to not go back until later tonight, and then when you do go back, you tell them that you followed us to the inn and we were just gambling. But what you're actually going to do now is buy your wife and kids something nice, okay? You're right. Oh, yeah, I was going to do... Okay, I'll do that. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. There's a Jew, actually, up the, stri- up, up, the, up the alleyway over there. He's a bit of a prick, but... You can definitely get some good stuff there. Just don't mention... Actually, you can mention me. All right, okay. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. And then he runs off towards the market. All right, great. That guy doesn't really follow instructions very well, does he? <laughs> well, hopefully he finds our key. That's, yeah. He fully, he fully failed the instructions that Guido Johnny gave. <laughs> <Yeah>. to- <laughs> We're going to find him dead in a ditch tomorrow. That's yeah. probably a guarantee. Said to actually murder us. <laughs> yeah. Like, off the weapon, so we thought it was <laughs> just following us. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just quickly tell Zuzu to look out for him. If he does get back to the place, then, then to let me know. I would love it if okay. Zuzu would just like kind of fly on the wall in his interactions and every now and then you're like, what is what is Parsley doing right now, Zuzu? And so just, yeah. He's on the toilet. <laughs> <It's> masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> a long day apparently and i guess we'll do it we, maybe we can do stealth checks and try to take some more inconspicuous routes towards oshi's bar now that we've we've encountered yeah. someone who's following us so do, do i have time for a short rest before we go to um sultan's tent probably mm, right you can go you can I go to know. the inn or like you can go to the oshi's bar we have like, like two what, hours right now it's not a lot two hours you have two hours? Oh, yeah. All right, you yeah, guys I'll... went there at six. Yeah, yeah we, we had there. a weird uh, schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll save my spell slots then. I was going to uh, cast Pass Without a Trace, but I'll just save, I'll just nah, save the spell I have slot. advantage anyway. Oh, yeah, one good thing. Only because... And I've got a vial of map if you, get, if you feel a little under. All right. <laughs> Wait, do, do the stealth checks you rolled before get to carry on to our journey to... No, Oshi's this was fight? hiding in the alley from the oh, guy. Okay, so I'll roll another one, I guess. Yeah, are, are we doing stealth right now? Or I, I'll we... say that it, it does like For the alleyways or because you kind of hid when you went into the alley, so whoever was following you mm, okay. would sure. you know, so you guys are pretty su- successfully stealthed. You gotcha. I mean I, I rolled a nat 20, so <laughs> all right. Either way, you guys are good. So a lot of nat 20s right. so far. I know it's Whoa. crazy. <laughs> Firing off cylinders. Yeah. So you guys are going to Oshi's bar? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So you arrive at Oshi's bar and, uh, you know, there's still like same amount of people there. You see familiar faces and you see in the corner, Ojaz and uh, Big Toe Billy. You see Big Toe Billy. You mean Big Boy Billy? Big Boy Billy. Yeah. 
<laughs> we, we, we changed his name earlier a little bit too when we did it. Yeah, there's too many names, no, man. No, even we great. all have different names too. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. I think it's fun. Even if you mess it up for some of these side yeah. characters, it's kind of funny. Because he just got his ass kicked, so it's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, as he looked in. Like, within death. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So you walk in, you see Big Boy Billy, like third degree burns. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> and he's kind of looking sad when he looks at you when you when you come in. Yeah, he like looks I, at you. I like, feel really bad. <laughs> like he kind of like turns away. He's like, oh. like a hurt animal. Oh, Billy, my boy, Billy, my boy. And I'm going to like, I'm in the spell. I, I feel bad, so I'm gonna I'm gonna waste a spell slot for it. I'm gonna cast cure wounds to 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 heal him a little bit. Uh, just because he did such a great job as being my uh, sandbag. Sandbag. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess like, I guess for flavor, yeah, like I like switch a nozzle on my on my little like double bag gun thing, um, and then like this like foam, this bio foam comes out and uh, over his oh, wounds, no, and, so- not again, no. ah! and it's gonna heal him for twelve hit points. Oh, oh my God, man! I thought you were gonna, no, thought you were gonna no, shoot no. me again, This man. is a thank you. Holy this shit. is a thank you, young Billy, for for all your hard work. Yeah, you don't know worry, what, Billy. Man. I was missing on purpose with my throws. <laughs> <laughs> I had a completely uh, other mission in mind. For some reason, I kind of doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but then he he's like, man. You know what, man? You did you did cure my toe, so let's just call water under the bridge, man. I think you guys did a great job fucking that place up. That was fantastic work. Hey, man, let's just say you guys you owe us one one day, you know. If we got <laughs> if we ever need help, you guys better come uh, help us out. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get too carried away then, but yeah, I healed your whole fucking toe, <laughs> so... <laughs> hey man, you shot me with acid! <laughs> <laughs> and then I healed you, so we're actually above even. <laughs> uh, but I, I'll nudge Bojaz and I'm just like, you really sold it with the with the four jazz I think. I like that, that was a nice touch. <laughs> Oh yeah, man! You see all that gold that we see? In oh the yes, it's in my pockets. Oh my god, <laughs> that gold, man, is just flipping through. I say, right, we got like two thousand gold, man. Whoa, oh, okay. Really, actually, it's it pretty good. Actually, it's a pretty good. Uh, it was worth it. It was worth it for us. Be yeah, honest. yes, as I ex- as I as expected, you know, that was actually the pay for the job. So I guess that was <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. Now yeah. we're even, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Bill, but big so big boy Billy just kind of overreacting. He he was he was kind of salty because he you kind of you kind of burned him with acid directly on his face, and ah, uh, it's all good. Yeah, but he, he'll get over. Tipped up in no time. He's, a, he's a, he already healed him up, though. So he's a, he he you know he doesn't he's gonna forget about it tomorrow. Is um is Gertie around? <laughs> yeah, you see Gertie comes out. Hey, man. Right, right. What's How are you up, feeling? Dude? How are you feeling? You know, you kind of punched me in the face, but I thought you, it's all right, man. It's all right. Sorry. I'm to cool with right. it. I'm cool with it, man. It's it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, to be honest, man, you're a good guy. I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> He's a family man. Um, yeah. I, I think, you know, yeah, hey, yeah. man. Yeah, well, don't, well, yeah. Honestly, don't worry about it, man. It was no, oh. you. You kind of hit me, and it was, was kind of cool. I crashed on the table. I was like, <laughs> "But could I do it again sometime?" You want to hit me again? And he goes well, like it, real. He goes real close to your face. He's like, "You want to hit me again, man?" I mean, it sounds like we're bonding, right? All right, man. All right. Aaron is uncomfortable and and uh, wants to go outside like, to stand oh, watch. They're like two lizards, like touching, almost touching their yeah. mouths, and their their tongues are like. <laughs> just like a bearded dragon fight. If you watch it on YouTube, where they're just gonna. Head back and I, forth. I whispered to Aaron, and I was like, I, I swear, I read about this. This might be how they mate. They start their mating uh, <laughs> process. I'm so hey, confused. Man. Are you? Are we cool? 
what <laughs> what's going on here what you not like me or something I, yeah right i'm gonna say it but you know it's not full hate it's just you you're doing us lizards wrong mate you just you go Why, you're going too far. you just this is the way you slimed over here mate you, you can walk what? you know you don't have to slither it's not my fault, man. I was born it's like not that. Not a snake, man. You got legs. I'm pretty close to a snake, man. Well, you understand? Just me uncomfortable. I spent a lot of time in Rainbow Valley crossing the desert, so I'm just a little uncomfortable. Slither, hey, man. All right. I know you're I a dragon, but you look like a lizzie. All right. Oh wait, oh, wait. Oh. Watch whoa, your mouth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Watch your no mouth. No need for such vulgarities here. This is a. Stop. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> That's a compliment, keep that, man. Keep that language at home. Compliment to you, mate. I'm a bloody dragonborn. Not a fucking house pet. Yeah, well, my mom's a dragonborn. Oh, is she? Yeah, man. Can't Funny you thing, because I know your mother. Oh, come on, man. Oh, That's no. Oh, oh, yeah, it's right. I got oh. it. Oh, you I see, got like, it. all both guys and everybody. Hey, hey, break it up. Break it up. Oh, come on. yeah. Hey, come on. We a bunch of... We're all friends here, man. Yeah, What's right. going on here? What? So I'm just, I had a lot of drugs today. <laughs> I just haven't had, haven't had a minute to, to expel anything. Can I buy everyone a round of drinks and just bring it back and just cool everyone down? <laughs> yeah. um, that actually got pretty, pretty tense. Yeah, yeah. Can I investigation and uh, look for Leandra? Uh, yeah, Leandra's uh, sitting over there and okay, cool. she's actually talking with a, uh, there's a taller dragonborn, like, all black with spikes on the back of his head and it looks a little bit different than most dragonborns he's like uh he's like a lot taller and a lot like bigger and uh there's a couple other guys around her she's talking to i've got like the opposite reaction to this dragon boy this one i'm immediately respectful <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll uh hobble on over and i'm like ah your highness uh it's it's my pleasure to see you once once again. Uh, I must thank you for coming in at the uh, Bloodstone Underground and lending a hand. I didn't expect that. I thought we were we were going to uh, work together or something. The the, uh, the Dragonborn that she's talking to like cuts you off and like because they're in conversation. And he stares you down. and He's like, I am Fornax, the Emperor. Bow before me. Sorry, what? Fornax? Fornax, commander on... of 10,000 starships! Can I roll an investigation <laughs> Can on I that? insight that? <laughs> Can I insight that? Yeah. yeah, this would be insight, right? Not investigation. Yeah, while you're history? insighting... You, what did you get? Would it be history or insight? Uh, insight, I guess. Yeah, I got history. Oh, sorry, I did the insight. I only got six. So I'm just like, oh <laughs> shit, oh, 10,000. Okay, good for you. I got eight. Yeah, good so I'm just you. like, right, cool, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it, this, uh, this guy comes up beside him. He's like, oh, shut up, Fornax. I don't see no starships. Sorry about, sorry about that, guys. That, I'm Danky Dan, and this is Fornax. He keeps on saying he's got all these starships and all that, but we don't see any starships. And then he goes, he's like, all right. Crash landed on this asteroid. <laughs> Shut up. What does oh, Danky Dan right. look like? Danky yeah. Dan just looks like a human with a beard, uh, chubby, and he's got a cowboy hat. Uh, well, Picture uh, like Kevin Smith and a cowboy. I hat. guess it's nice to meet you, uh, Foreskin. Uh, anyways, uh, back to the oh, uh, princess. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> um, Miss Princess, uh, a word, please. Uh, perhaps a little more privately. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, excuse me, uh, fellas. Uh, I'll be talking to the, the, these guys over here. These are my friends. Very well. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll be over here, all right? They kind of, like, walk over. Um, yeah, as I kind of pull over to the side, I guess I'll, I'll rejoin like uh, Belmont and Aaron kind of huddled in a corner and just be like, so yeah. we've uh, we've set up a meeting with uh, Guido Johnny at the Sullivan's tent and uh, we're going to head over there now to, to scope it out and see if we can set up any any kind of, uh, you know, 
traps or precautions or something to uh, give us a bit of an upper hand. And I do remember from our last conversation that you uh, did have a bone to pick with the fellow. So, would you like yeah. to? Would you like to work with us? You said Guido Johnny's gonna be there. Oh, he'll be there. As long as I get to personally kill him myself. That's the idea. Why? Why? Why is that? Why? Why are you so? Why are you so? Uh, why do you have such yeah, a the history, vendetta there? against the man? Well, let's just say I used to live in the desert. I used to be princess of the desert. Specific place in the desert known as Jin La. Before a couple of bandits came in, not a couple, a whole gang. And let's just say that. I ain't the princess no more. Can I history check Jin Law? What do I know about Jin Law? Yeah. I remember Jin uh, 18. Nice. No, you know I Jin Law is the it's the only uh le like the last yeah, leftover green area in the desert. Oh wow. So it's like a it's like a water hole in the desert. How far is it from Kashi? It's like Far west. It's Complete like other uh, side. It's okay. the west yeah. coast. Okay. Is it wow. closer to Jin Death Law. Valley and all that? Yeah. So so Belmont would have known about Jin La because it's very close to like where the pits were. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she says Jin La used to be my my parents and my family were the emperors of Jin La. And we ruled that place in a peaceful manner before the Bloodstone Underground came through. Bloodstone Gang, and they started claiming resources. First thing they claimed was the water, fucking up the whole place. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Your Highness. Uh, Jin La does sound like a beautiful place, and perhaps one day we'll make our way over there, but. Yeah, it's all in, right. In, 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 uh, <laughs> in terms of this Bloodstone Underground business, uh, we are taking it one step at a time. I know we're moving up the ladder, and uh, step one is to take out Guido Johnny, and uh, if uh, there's any chance of getting your your title back and your whatever you know you are owed, uh, I believe it starts with, with this mission here. Definitely. If it's Guido Johnny, it's, he's the one that He's the one that I, I have to kill to avenge my family. Yes, that's that's the idea. That's that's the plan. Uh, I, 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 I appreciate yeah. that. I can I appreciate it. that. For but sure. uh, I feel as though we cannot make a proper plan until we go to the southern center and kind of get a lay of the land. So, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I would I would request that you come with us to to the sultan's tent. Uh, we don't have much time. We have like about a, a, a bit over an hour left. And Meeting at nine. Who's who's planning on taking out Guido Johnny? It's just it's just the three of you and me. Well, uh, I look over to like all the fucking hooligans in the in the bar. I was like, <laughs> yeah. bringing them to the Sultan's tent after the ruckus they caused uh, earlier. I'm not sure. Uh, might uh, set a bit of a yeah, it might uh, a tension in the room. <laughs> might be some red flags that we need to catch I him mean, off guard. Specifically, catch him off guard. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know how strong you guys are, but if you could take down Guido Johnny and his crew, you must be a couple strong fellas. Well, the idea was to to, met, to get the meeting because uh, it would isolate him and he could only bring so many folks and hopefully with the Sultan's tent's help, I kind of look over to Aaron, um, and yours, we can, uh, we can get, get a, get a little sneak attack on, on uh, going on and, uh, catch him off guard, as, as Benamon said. And she, like, picks up her gun and she, like, <laughs> and, like, loads it up, <laughs> It puts on all these attachments and I think I'm ready. I right. think I'm ready to take down Guido Johnny once and for all. You look ready. 
Do you maybe want to bring that big, the fucking massive dragonborn over there? Maybe it'll help. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need to get to know Thornax a little bit. Actually, I need to see what he eats because that's that's quite the build. And she looks over to Thornax and's like, Thornax, you want to kill Guido Johnny with me? I am Thornax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you want to. You want to kill Guido Johnny? What? You want to kill? <laughs> Guido John, I will kill him. <laughs> well, I guess he's in. All right, I think he's down. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> All right, Fornax, uh, come along with your 10,000 starships and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do not make fun of me. I am Fornax. I oh, wouldn't dare. I can hear you from here. You are Fornax. <laughs> Actually, Why, I that's my name. I those are great you... scales too, mate. You keep those in shape. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, his nails are like two inches long. Jesus yeah, Christ. Those are beautiful Ooh. nails. Do you like my nails? No, they're beautiful. I, hey, as a oh. fellow connoisseur dragonborn, let me know. I've talked to too many lizards since I've gotten into town. I am just happy to see one of your stature. Thank you. What is your name? Oh, I'm just, I'm just humble Belmont. Honestly, Thornax, you don't have to look at me for much. I'm just here. I'm just here trying to help. Belmont, king of the desert. What? Is that my just, new title? Does this just yell things out? Like, just whatever it comes to in his brain? Like, <laughs> just... <laughs> you just kind of are a king. King? <laughs> what? Do not Why sell yourself I? short. I, I I won't. I'll, I'll I'll keep that energy. Good. Do you yeah, know a lot of kings? He's a pretty good hype man. <laughs> have, you, have, you met, have you met a lot of kings? I know thousands of kings. <laughs> do you do you know the, the king of the waste? The king of the waste? Yeah. Did you name him too? Let me see. Let me see if he knows him. Ooh. Ooh. The king of the waste. Hmm. He's caused a lot of trouble. I will kill him too. <laughs> Do you know where you could get a hold of him if you want to kill him? Because there's something he's got that I want. The Bloodstone oh, Underground. Deep in the caverns. Below the Bloodstone. Hmm. Ah. All right, mm. Thornax. By chance, if uh, if we had access to this area, would you like to um, tag along? Yes. <laughs> all right. Shit. All right. I all right. will kill everyone in the <laughs> Bloodstone Underground. <laughs> all right, Thornax. I'm gonna need to keep you. I'm gonna keep you in my back pocket, mate. Thornax. I need, I need that. I need that energy. Yeah. Thornax will be with you. Sometimes, maybe not all the time, but when I can, I will come. Thornax, I get it. I get it. You're a busy man, and it probably takes a while to move you around because you're just giant. <laughs> Fellow um, Dragonborn. <laughs> and he grabs your hand <laughs> and he brings you in. And he brings you like really close. Pretty and he's much still me off the ground because I'm he's, <laughs> very hungover. <laughs> he's still like yelling at full volume. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I appreciate it, mate. You've got a great grip. I'm gonna have to check my wrist for sprains after. Um, yeah, I whispered to Belmont. I'm like, for so far I'm getting this guy's whole deal is like yelling his name, uh. Yelling things that come to his mind and speaking in 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 gross hyperbole. So when he says when he says that he'll be there for you sometimes, that probably means like one time. <laughs> I'll roll the dice. He's a big dragon, right? I take him over Gertie. Let's not get Gertie upset. Here. Let's, let's be honest. Gertie's a little bit of a wet noodle, literally. <laughs> uh, so I guess we head out of Oshi's bar with Leander and. Fornax. Yeah, that's it. No, uh, the, we don't want the other guys. I just feel like it's like too. Danky Dan. It's too. What's sus. Danky Dan's deal? Oh, we haven't really. Danky Dan's kind of just. He sure. didn't really come. Stanky Dan. Or Danky Dan. Yeah. 
Just thank you, Dan. I, I, uh, I can come to, uh, you know, if you guys want me to, you know, I don't mind. Well, I just want, are you comfortable, Danky, Dan? Because Oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, sure. I, I am a bounty hunter. I mean, if you guys want me to come, you know, oh, I don't. Thank you, Dan. The more the merrier. But, like, obviously, new faces are better because we've currently run an operation with uh, hooligans at the table over there. It was a good one. But uh, we need some new heads, so. But I do have a... Uh... Yeah, I could come, and he brings like a uh, huge rocket launcher. <laughs> what? The fuck? Wait, 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 we don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to destroy the Sultan's head. Like, can we keep explosives out of this, please? Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, you don't want explosives? Okay, I, I'll. I'll come to the next one. All, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so you just you're the explosive expert. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Noted. Noted. I like. Oh, cool. I like to explode things. So. I, I, I get it. It's 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 probably fun. Hey, well, time and place, time and place. Perhaps next time. <laughs> hey, next time, uh, I'll be there. Just know hey, that we appreciate it. Yeah. Can we get um, uh, bell hand? You want the big, me? That's big tiger, the big sword, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, but you like he's a. Uh, yeah, they all cause so much noise yeah. at Bloodstone. Mm, okay, so right. what I what I was thinking was um. Uh, unless we just, I would unless we disguise I, them. Yeah, I, I would. I would go in the front, and then, and then you guys could go to the secret entrance, the secret exit that we left out of, and then and I'll then just let you all in. We could have like you could even like let us know when to come in, or if you. No, want no, no, I can. I can let you in from the back because because I was thinking like like maybe someone's watching the Sultan's tent right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. we can have some well, people in hiding. Yeah, at least. Because like, I, I think we had mentioned an idea is like, yeah, like Leandra could be like dressed up as one of like the, the employees at Sultan's. Or, yeah, at Sultan's tent. So yeah, because like, I guess they're gonna have history. Yeah, that works too. Um, but yeah, that's a good to... idea if you want to sneak into Sultan's tent so no one sees us. But like, yeah, I'm not gonna dress Thornax up. But <laughs> don't <laughs> no, have anything that might put him. <laughs> looks great the way he is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, let's, let's go over there and scope out the place to see the layout, because I think that'll give us a better idea of what to do. Because, yeah, I have no idea how we're going to do this. <laughs> Wait, so, so you want, you want, um, us to just go in first and they wait outside or something for now? Uh, or, no, I like your idea. You go in first and let us all into the back. Okay, and it's just Leandro and Fornax. Yeah, I yeah. think Danky Dan would probably yeah. cost yeah. too much. Okay. Yeah. I didn't right. expect the bazooka. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she called him Demolition Dan. I was like, oh, maybe he's got like a magic spell or something. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> he described it as a human with a cowboy. I was like, maybe he has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest gun. <laughs> All right, yeah, we head over. All right. So we exit. We are we're exiting Oshi's and uh, heading straight over. Yeah. So I guess um, before we go to the front entrance, we'll go to the where the where the secret exit was, and then we'll tell them to wait there. And then we all three of us will go into the front. Sounds good. Can I yeah. can I check in with Zuzu and see what Zuzu's seeing? See what Parsley's up to. <laughs> so Zuzu's still in the back room, right? Well, it's been, I don't know how long it's been, but Zuzu's been, I told Zuzu to get to the front, like, as soon as you can. Like 30 minutes. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, so Zuzu, Zuzu just sees people cleaning up. Uh, there's, you know, Guido Johnny's over there. He's getting stuff ready, and uh, they're about to get get ready to go to the, they're kind of, like, talking amongst themselves. Can I hear what and they're like, saying? They're kind of, like, uh, yeah, so, uh, look, we go in there and I get ambushed. I need to have some backup, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to have some guys. You guys, you two stay out the front. You two stay in the back. And, uh, you know, you guys come with me. And then we'll go in there, we'll do the exchange. It's just an honest, uh, you know, it's just an honest exchange. It's fine. Well, to go in there, in and out, we get some magic items. If it's not, we'll call the guys down, 
And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. If we have to take him out, we'll take him out. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Can I see how many guys he's talking to? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm looking about, about working now. So he's talking about like the same amount of guys that were there last time. There's like about oh, okay. 14, like 14 guys <laughs> and, uh, and him. You see that there's four of them that, um, you would have saw this last time, but there's four of them that look like they're higher ups than the lower guys. So it's kind of like he's talking to four. He's talking to four leaders that kind of lead the the uh, the kind of like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. grunts, like Parsley Williams. Yeah. So there's four four bigger guys that are he's talking to, mm-hmm. and they kind of seem like pretty built, almost as built as he is. Ooh. Okay. Mini Guido, John. Ah, uh, Aaron. Do you think uh, in the in the chaos that we caused uh, earlier uh, with the explosion and all, do you think Lathai was able to escape? Or I have no idea. Well, I, that I, be uh, uh, something uh, to Zuzu address when we get yeah, there. Yeah, Zuzu didn't see anything. There, Zuzu didn't see any back door to wherever the the jail or prison or whatever could be. So, hmm. really not sure. Yeah, Zuzu. Um, so this is the thing. I don't know if Zuzu would have seen. So Zuzu was there when the fight is going on. Yeah. So I don't know if Zuzu saw what happened after the fight. Mm-hmm. Probably not. So probably not. Zuzu probably went out in the front before. Yeah. The people in the back stopped fighting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's sneak into the sun's tent and, and check out the layout. And then so, so I, let, I let everyone know. So it sounds like they want to keep two guys in the front. Yeah. So that means like outside Sultan's tent. I'm guessing. Okay. Because like. we we can't let them go back to the base. So I don't know how we're gonna stop them. That's what I mean. I think now that there's more than that, we might have to we might have to deal with the outside people first, huh? If they are outside, so that mm. they can't get more people. Or would they immediately just react, come in, and I, help? When he said outside, I thought they meant like the lobby area, maybe, or like, or something. I guess yeah. I guess we'll have to see the uh, yeah, <laughs> the layout first. This is just gonna play into uh, how we, because this is gonna play into our plan of the Bloodstone after. Because if we fuck it up in terms of uh, mm-hmm. killing all these guys, even even if they don't go back, this is a lot of people. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've got some AOE like, shit. I got, so, I got I think, a flaming spear. I, I've got. I think the way I'm even thinking about this interaction, from a point of how Parsley talked to us, I'm hoping that if we do, if there's only four higher up guys in my head that are probably getting the bougie treatment, there's probably going to be way more Parsley Williams <laughs> that are going to be like strategically working for the Bloodstone people. So like, I don't know mm. if they're going to even. You know, I feel like they'll care more about the four guys. So, like, four is a better number to kill. Like, in terms of like, you know what I mean? Like, so, go, so we go for the we go for the four big guys and just try to convince the rest of them to work for us. I'd say something like that. I, I, I then like we that. might be able to at least keep that infiltrating. Because if we just dummy a whole unit, that's probably like most of his core. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, Guido John is the first target, right? We take him out number one. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, and then I yeah. think from there, his he's probably his four people are going to be the closest to him. Actually, I had an idea. Um, uh, Aaron, uh, remember that poison that we made the other day with the scorpions? Yeah, don't you have you have all of it, right? Or do yes. I have one too? Uh, I was thinking, perhaps uh, you know, as a as a business, uh, you know, uh, leisurely thing that we do, we get a couple of drinks with him, and perhaps we do a cheers and. Uh, you with your deft hands, your young deft hands, somehow slip some of this poison uh, in his drink. I don't think it'll take him out, but it'll certainly uh, render him a little less uh, competent uh, than usual. I can put a little little whap in mine. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, because, yeah, so because if I do, if we do give him a potion of poison, he'll take 3d6 poison damage, and then if he fails the con save, He'll be poisoned, which means he has disadvantage for everything during the yeah. fight, which gives us a huge nice. advantage. And he takes three. Even know his potential yet? <laughs> yeah, he gets. He takes three d six poison at the beginning of his. Or sorry, at the, uh, at 
the start of each of his turns too, which is crazy. How, how am I? How am I? How am I gonna poison his glass in front of everyone? Because you have no, crazy sleight of hand. Like a, <laughs> yeah. Also, maybe we could be like. I'm guessing if there's like someone to get us drinks, like if we have an actual, I don't know what the layout looks like yet, but if there's someone, we could just go over there, kind of, and from that point, they bring the drinks out, kind of thing. Yeah, like but it might have to make, be a pre-prepared. How do we make sure that he's the one who gets the poison drink? That's that's my worry about the pre-prepared. That's thing. the Russian that's roulette. Why, that's why <laughs> when I'm thinking that you pour his drink, you do a deft sleight of hand thing. It could be like a respect thing. You'd be like, oh, let me pour this for you. I don't know. Don't you have some ninja shit where you like keep a capsule in your fingernail and then we pour <laughs> you pour his drink and like squirts out something like he just pinches uh, his two fingers together. I don't know. Hey. You're the ninja, hey, Ron. <laughs> yeah, you tap me. <laughs> and and if the sleight of hand fail, chess uh, sleight of hand check fails. I mean, wait, immediate start, fight. You we throw just a ball start fighting right there. <laughs> you, you can't poison the drink. Throw the drink at him next. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that don't have sleight. some issues. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't even know it was aggression. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you want me to? What's your sleight of hand? Well, I've got a plus two, and I've also got a That's crazy. You'll be yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Okay. Just, just roll, just roll <laughs> one. one. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Aren't you guys gonna kill him anyways? So. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is I think it just depends on the pace of it, right? Uh, if we, if we, if we accidentally start it too early, I could see it might be messy, but. Depending on where we're at, I'm All surrounded right. by four of those guys. Maybe just don't poison them until they move away from me or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we head to uh, Sultan's tent then. Perfect. Yeah, if there's people outside, let's fucking get uh, Fornax to take out one group. Uh, we can do Fornax in the back because he's obviously going to be really loud and like. Yeah. If they're, if they're if they're outside, Fornax. It's just like it'd be less, you know, noticeable if he wasn't in the front of the building. And then we could also have like Leandra be one of like the, the girl, like they have dancers as she comes into our booth and dances like on mm -hmm. him or something, and then like assassinates, tries to go, for, you know, <laughs> like she gets mm -hmm. the kill. But I also gonna, also like that gonna... she has a giant gun. So like if she there's a that's why I want to see the layout. If there's a spot where she can like snipe him from when mm -hmm. he's sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right when the like sleight of hand fails. Just... <laughs> yeah. well, so, uh, so an idea that I had to keep people from escaping was just to cast darkness and then tie ropes around the place so that they can't mm -hmm. run through. Mm -hmm. I like I have I have ropes and I also have a uh, can uh, caltrops so they can actually look at. go through if they want to escape. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like everything I have that is on spell level, at least the stuff I used to have, I had campfire, which was just start a fire. <laughs> that was good. I like, I like campfire. Campfire is campfire good. Is fun. Yeah. I just don't think I'd want to start it in the salt. No, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> okay, cool. So you guys are coming in through the back. So yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna show Leandra where the back is, and then we're gonna. Um, we're going to tell uh, Fornax to just take a look at, just watch the front door, I guess. And then when he sees everyone go in, uh, I don't know what his signal would be to just start attacking Fornax. people. <laughs> um, the only thing he's good at doing is yelling. Yeah, we would... I mean, if he's out there with them, he'll know when like they get the call to, to come in and support, right? Oh, oh yeah, okay. So you guys start oh, in the cool. back room. Since you guys came in the back. Yo, this okay. is beautiful. Wow, I wish people on the podcast could see this right now. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, describe describe the room that we're in. Yeah. So the room that you're in, uh, it's like very ornate decorations of uh, wood carvings and stuff like that. You got a, uh, there's a trap door that you guys are familiar with. You guys, uh, so I guess Aaron let you guys in through the trap door. So we're at the and, top. Uh, we're at the all top all then, three right? of us, all three of us went in through the front, but once we were inside, we let Leandra in through the back. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's uh, you've seen it before. It's like a, there's a desk, there's a carpet, there's a bookshelf on the the east wall, um, and it's very like ornate designs. There's like a, a peacock carved into the door. Uh, there's like you see like all these. Everything's very uh, decorated. 
everything has like you know the trim and the border is all like wood carvings and the desk is like wood carved and uh everything looks all like very fancy and if you roll an arcana check either way you get like a, a sense of like a lot of you get like this feeling of like a glow i got a nine arcana <laughs> i got an 18 plus uh can can we also do a perception is there one, a lathari in sight yo i got a nat 20. oh, Jesus oh shit on our on perception or on arcana? Arcana. uh you said arcana so that's what i was rolling yeah. i guess yeah i rolled 18. okay well you notice that the bookshelf on the right side that has a uh kind of like a, a magical kind of trap door not a trap door but like a secret hidden uh book that you can sense there's this one book in, in particular that's kind of glowing uh-huh okay I, I, I grab it okay and then the the bookshelf opens up and there's a hallway that goes into the back room <laughs> so this actually goes oh uh, it actually goes behind the rooms whoa okay and and you can see inside these rooms over here oh. and through through the paintings there's paintings in the walls and like you know those paintings with the eyes yeah, in them like the oh i see so the hallway connects yeah. to all of the rooms down the hall and just the on the right side i see interesting that, that's honestly kind of creepy but it's cool for this <laughs> 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 like all so, the movies set up. <laughs> so you can see uh, on the in the right side, and there's people yeah. like in there. There's guests being like, and then there's no there's no uh, seductive stuff going on. There's just they're playing music and they're they're doing art and stuff like that, and like people are just chilling out on cushions. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, so mm -hmm. there's nothing too weird. So are we meeting Guido so, Johnny in one of these rooms? I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say, Aaron, can you uh, speak to the staff and then, who's in charge now? <laughs> can you speak to the staff and get us a booth and like from there I'm we'll sure there's a a lead a lead. Uh, what are they called? Um, I'm blanking. Manager. Uh, no, there's like a <laughs> fancy word for I'll it. Speak to your manager. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure there's a manager or something. So. Um, oh um, yeah. Also, sorry. Up. Before you do that, the, you, there's more to the uh, the trapdoor see there's like okay. a staircase that goes down and yep. uh underneath there there's there's like numerous types of items and like rare things and all that but there's also it goes underneath to the front and you can see out the the front through like oh. these little like windows in the bottom that oh. and you, you can see like like uh, you can see all around the sultan's tent so you can kind of see people in the back uh, you can see where people would be in the front. Wow. And you get like a, you have like a lookout under there. This wow, be a that's good amazing. Area that she put to tell Leandre to kind of hang out in. And like yeah, get, how uh, thick are the walls? Wait. Did she shoot through the walls? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can shoot through one of the windows. The windows, uh, they that's don't the really open. They're like stained glass windows. Yeah. But mm. you can uh maybe you can take one of them out and then put like you know you can like make it seem like it's uh i don't know like a brick with a hole in it yeah but where where would she where would this she be actually, shooting this into, would have been though, a good like, place for zuzi to be but we don't have them what, what would zuzi be doing like scouting just, going up and down the hole constantly scouting for what much, you wouldn't have much damage anything unexpected you uh, insight we could also get Fornax to pace around and see. Oh, yeah, like I see if, if I see Fornax going through here, I feel like you're still going to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if there's like openings, like for you yeah. to look through. Anyone he stuff, sees, I like, I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who can use like this. Leandra should be in the thick of it with us, like being one of the. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Like, yeah. I could probably cast spells. Like, I got reach in there, and if I'm already drugged up and having issues, like, I could go <laughs> run and hide in there. But, like, he's going to be expecting me there for the most part, so yeah. it almost have to be Yeah, like, it doesn't Oh, really let me go matter. grab us something new, and I go step out or something, but... Unless... <laughs> no, because Danky... Like, unless we went back to get, like, Bojaz and all of them, but... 
Like, no. I don't know. I think, no. I think he. Yeah, because even Bojaz, based on how hyped up he was, I wouldn't expect. I'd expect him to do something like political with this. I think he'd like want to make a statement, even <laughs> just uh, set up another explosion. Can or some I shit. investigation roll and see out of all the booths here, what is like the one that can be one most private and two, if there's one that like someone can like snipe through or something. I don't know something that gives us an advantage, like any booth that has an advantageous. Yeah, but as soon as, one, as soon as someone moves, though, like they're not gonna be able to be sniped anymore. Mm. I guess the the one in the gun is just... the one in the top left room. Um, there's actually like this kind of passageway that connects from the the office to that room. Mm. That's something that you would actually see within that twenty as well. So you see by the office there's a, like this little kind of like passageway that has like a it's like a closet and uh the closet borders that room oh, okay mm. so, so maybe we can make that one the meeting spot sounds good okay so i guess are you guys going into every room and like checking it out yeah i would like we have like yeah, still, but, yeah. Yeah, Over so when hour. I get there, I'll just be like, hi, I, I don't know if you remember us. Uh, we were here when uh, my uncle uh, Lefai got taken away. Um, we, uh, Guido Johnny is actually on his way here around nine, and I, I think we're going to kill him tonight. And you guys are okay with that, right? You're going to kill him here? Yeah, I th I th we, we didn't know where else to go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Is, this is. Oh my god. And does Lithai know about this? No, we have to rescue him because he's being held at the Bloodstone Underground right now. So, first we need to get rid of Guido Johnny, then where, we can go get where him. Where are back. you going to kill him? Where? Where's a good spot? Where's the best <laughs> spot for it? Where have there been murders he, in the past? He's going to be running throughout this whole. There's going to be his men. In and out of here, and you guys are gonna be attacked. Oh my! Okay, well, um, I'm sure oh that my. I'm sure that my uncle has has done stuff like this in here before. Probably more sneakier than us. And no, he he's never committed mass murder inside <laughs> his place of work. <laughs> well, boys, we've got ourselves in a pickle. <laughs> Look, if you oh. guys have to do it, I, I understand if you have to save Lethai, but please try not to kill them everywhere. Like, oh, it, this is this is a sacred place and there's, there's people work, there's people walking around. Uh, and they, if you, where are you going to shoot? You're going to shoot them in the pools and then there's going to be blood everywhere. <laughs> and we're going to have to, I mean, try to keep it into contained into one room if you can. That, and then we'll, yeah. try, I'll try to move all all the staff outside and we'll we'll leave this place to you that yeah, sounds we'll, like a good plan yeah we'll we'll do our best i'll i i'll i'll help with the paying for the damages and then i'll can i flicker a gold coin <laughs> yeah <laughs> aaron you don't need to pay me you are doing us a favor saving but i yeah i know i i just obviously just, I feel bad i don't like getting things dirty yeah it's okay it, you, <laughs> it just you have to do what you have to do it's not your fault that this horrible man took lethai but you know just try just try not to destroy the place and get blood everywhere and uh, I, it'll be fine everything will yeah. be fine yeah i i will i will try to to enact the grace of our clan and then i just gotta, kind of give like a knowing nod Cause we're all like we're all ninjas here right yeah and she uh she bows down to you and uh she says like if you need our help we can assist you in whatever way we can mm -hmm. i think the most important thing is that not a, no one escapes or lets anyone know that this is happening okay well i will have some some people hide in the alleys outside mm -hmm. Great. I like that. Yeah, so Aaron, uh, any thoughts on what we should do? 
what the plan yeah actually what which which room which room is the best one to try to contain this in is the the top yeah, yeah okay top left top left or top right yeah I'd say. if leandra wants to like snipe like what if we have our meeting here leandra is a dancer and the one across from us and then she has her gun hidden in one of like the under one of the beds or something like one of the one of the cushions then when our shit happens uh she can shoot him from there because you can see into the other ones from across right i feel bad uh, for no these are actually like separate rooms are they like walled off and closed doors these ones over here have closed doors the the pool area is all kind of open mm. so the uh the pool area kind of has like this pond going through the middle and it like kind of goes out into each room and uh do we think that uh, and everything do we think that guido johnny will want to meet in his usual spot which is one of the pools this is probably not a pool meeting yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. We both just met. Yeah. It's like half naked in the pool. I mean, that's more like a me and Guido meeting. I think yeah. we've got like pile, piles of WAP. Yeah. Piles of WAP. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, Aaron. What do you think? Yeah. And any of those rooms are fine with me. But like, oh, what's man, the plan? This looks beautiful. Yo, Deferred, you did a great job, man. I love yeah, these rugs and everything. This looks so good. Yeah, the rugs are nice, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, for everyone listening, like literally, like you walk into this place and there's like all these nice trees and there's like little bridges, with little ponds and stuff. And then you go down a, a hallway and there's all these rooms that have like nice just, cushions and like Alex's luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's basically my uh, yeah, my, just this my house. house. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't get blood anywhere, please. Yeah, just... there's like everything's all carpets and pillows yeah. and like. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah we're gonna we'll kill him. Floating <laughs> line as well. I'm pretty sure you can make right. your pants. Well, you might need to buy. Uh, you might, might need to buy a, new, a couple of new rugs and. Yeah, I think as long as we don't filthy the pools, because I feel like everything yeah. else would be easier. <laughs> if we can, else, if we can yeah. get it into the nice, at least even up in the upper areas, mm -hmm. it'll it'll be tighter. Where's the fun. entrance to the top left room? The top left room entrance is in the middle um okay uh because at least if we keep it contained to the room then any of his goons coming in they get funneled through a hallway which is yeah. hard which is hard well i'm also I, thinking I like think... how would guido johnny even contact the people outside like he would have to like send like if we they keep have a the magical item i don't know if we keep the the murder within the walls of this booth then his people won't even know until maybe it's like a time related thing like if yeah. it takes too long they're gonna already preemptively have something in, did, in uh, place. when zuzu was overhearing did did zuzu hear any plans of like how they would contact each other you assume like well zuzu i guess heard that they would he would yell he would yell out okay so as long a as a certain keep, word yeah as long as we keep quiet like if i yell out Boo! Oh, yay! If I yell that out, and you hear that, you run. You run back to the Bloodstone Underground and inform the leaders. Okay, so I would tell Leandra that when she's like dancing on him or something, to smother his face with a pillow and stick something in his mouth so he can't yell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, because I'm trying to think about. I'm trying to think about, um, well, okay, so that's one thing we need to do is stop people from running. So that's what I thought Thornax was for outside. Yeah, but I guess if we had Thornax outside, right, he could be helping the people in the alleys. That's another path. He could be, like, sitting there, like, helping. The he wouldn't be as stealthy, obviously, probably, but he could be, like, a mm. last band-aid to make sure, like, no mm. one here gets in trouble. Or mm -hmm. he, we could use him as, like, our own cork for, like, the hallway. Okay. I, I feel like I that's also, not as big how many of an people issue. Because how many people does Guido, Guido, uh, Guido Johnny want to bring inside? I guess like we we don't really know how much is coming in, right? They said like fourteen in total. I yeah, think, something, something like that. Because we've got also, four, at least yeah, this will be like ten inside. I also wanted to cast darkness and t tie some ropes and stuff around. Yeah, yeah. Like true. my like my darkness is literally like it could be that big, like thirty feet yeah. across. So I could so. fill up this whole room and then just stop people from leaving. Yeah. And just like assassinate yeah. everyone. And then uh 
Yeah, so... We can just have Thornax set up as our extra buddy. So right now, you... It's getting closer and closer to nine. So yeah, you guys got to solidify a plan right now. You're getting... You're feeling the pressure mm-hmm. yeah. of like if you're if you're gonna plan some traps, <laughs> you gotta start now. I think the dark do that. is probably the safest bet, at least for the inside then. Especially if we don't really know Thornax's capabilities. Yeah, I, like is your guys plan to you're gonna bring them in to the place and they're gonna do the the deal. Yeah. And then get the deal, do the darkness, get the fight. Ooh, I yeah, so actually I, I wanna set I wanna set up um I want to set up a rope, basically, mm-hmm. uh, like like tied to something on one wall and then the other wall, and like put it like under the rug. And uh, then um, uh, when the darkness goes up, then I can uh, pull up one side and like tie it or something, so people can't run out if they even yeah. know where the if they even know where the exit is because yeah. they won't be able to see anything. So maybe I don't even it need just, to do that. It would, it would just be by accident, probably. The, okay, so room. maybe I won't do the rope then. That's too the much. The booth just entrance is it a it's a door, right, or like a curtain type thing? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a door. Okay, cool. Then I have a good idea. It's, uh, uh, it's like a sliding. It's like one of the uh, like uh, not a door but a fan. Okay. Uh, what do you call those things? Like. They're kind of like see-through, like those yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like the Dojo Studio setup. Because I have this about yeah. Flaming Sphere, which I can like make a Flaming Sphere just outside the door so that anyone coming in is going to have to deal with my sphere. <laughs> okay. And that'll like basically choke point them from getting in too fast. Okay. Okay, but you're not going to be able to cast that because you're not going to be able to see that. Because you were all going to oh, be the darkness. darkness. Wait, why are you casting darkness so that no one can see when we're trying to assassinate someone? I can see. Yeah, but what about us? Well, I guess well, here's the thing then, because Leandro's supposed then... to get the kill too. <laughs> I know. I was gonna. I was gonna take darkness out after I killed all the leaders or whatever. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try and do the the qu- the upper four quick. Yeah. But that's pretty much, that'll be, I guess, that'll be on more so you slash. I could probably get off if I got hit randomly. Like, I think you doing you. darkness hinders us more than... Yeah, I, that's why I'm at, that's why I'm asking you, how can I use it? Because I don't know, if, because I, I'm not, like, I don't have that... You could also, you could also <laughs> put, you could put darkness, um, maybe if there's no one, like, staff-wise and they're figuring it out, we, you could put darkness in the exits. So that if they were to try and get out in the hallways or like leave or come in, it would be dark in like the pool area. And that's like the only exit they know of. So they wouldn't be able to leave through there. And that way we're not blinded. And there's just, like a specific choke point. Why don't you just cast it in the hallway so that anyone trying to come in to help doesn't even know where the, where the fucking doors are to get in. Yeah, the hallway might be nice if we're already inside. And then if then they're going to fucking run into my flame sphere. <laughs> if they did go out, yeah. Yeah. And then that's gonna immediately uh, make them turn back. But then, but then you're saying we're gonna be stuck in there. With, we with we Agnes. we don't want them to turn back though. Like we want them in here so that we can deal with all. They're still of them, gonna like, try to get in. They're just gonna take forever. And then by then he'll be dead. Then we deal with them. I don't know. Like if you're desperately trying to get into somewhere and then you can't see where it is, you're not just gonna dip. <laughs> if the person you try to save is in there. Well, that's why, like if, if, yeah, if if you're worried about them dip dipping, that's why I feel like if if we don't want Thornax outside, you could literally just use him. On the other end, or something where there isn't darkness, as like another safety measure. Okay, my my biggest worry is just that Guido Johnny is just gonna kill me straight up if I don't. Because <laughs> uh, we don't want, we don't have a tank. Like none of us can take that many hits. Hornax might be able to if we use him like one, but we'd have to get him. Yeah, but it's like in four four v one with him, right? So what do you mean four v one? He's gonna have like a ton of people. In, no, uh, in the him. in the immediate room. Yeah, he'll have four in the room. He'll probably have. We said he had fourteen, right? He's got two in the front, two in the back. That's four. so he's got ten left. So he'll have his four baddies with him. We've got mm-hmm. six uh, p- possible stragglers just chilling. Wait, defense. So you said have six. The, the the order was for everyone to dip when he he yells out, not help him. He's saying the guys outside, they're gonna run back. Uh, the blood's on your ground. Yeah. I see. So that's what I mean. So if there's like a trigger like that, 
Put everyone the guys inside, inside. That will help him. Yeah. So we okay, got an extra. So we just have yeah, we just have two uh, some people taking out. Is there security in this place? Uh, well, there's everybody's a ninja, but <laughs> yeah. So there you they're, go. <laughs> they're kind of uh, they they said that they're gonna leave and they're yeah, gonna they like some be people are going. Yeah, some people are gonna watch outside and hide yeah. and be yeah. ninjas. Uh, yeah. So yeah. if somebody does get away, there's still a chance that somebody will get away. Well, there's only yeah, two but... people outside. So if we get all of the ninjas to guard the front and then Fornax to guard the back, we should be fine. And then anyone within the establishment, we take care of. We like, we'll, have the, we'll have the staff lock them in with us. Like the way I'm hoping is even if there's like the underlings at the front, let's say they do see like a pile of ninjas, right? Like <laughs> if they are anything like Backbone, Parsley, Williams, they're not gonna really want to fucking give their life for Guido Johnny. So I don't think they'd put up the biggest fight. As you're saying all this, you hear a voice from the front of the the establishment. Oh yeah, I'm looking for the mad merchants over here. Oh no. <laughs> and uh Alright, get into positions, everybody. Oh, they they already have they already have a booth? Okay, great. Oh, yeah, I'll uh, I'm gonna bring some of my men in with me. There's a couple of guys with me. Land is already uh, dressed, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And and you want you want Leandra in the booth across with a gun? No, 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 no. she'll be with us. The booth can be hidden in under the table or something. Yeah, you she'll, mean like her gun? Yeah, her gun. Yeah, yeah, the gun. <laughs> the booth under the table. Sorry, the gun will be under what? the table. Where's the booth? <laughs> it's all a part of the plan. <laughs> you fell for our trap. There's nowhere to sit. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll, I, I'm going to stay closer to the door because I'm already kind of like a bodyguard guy. And also yeah. I can leave quickly and then cast darkness so that they can't like escape. Yeah. And then um, is darkness going to stop them from escaping? <laughs> where am I going to where am I going to be chilling here? So you, let me go and let me go and get uh, you, uh, is you see pillow, is from the painting? front. You see from the front. Guido Johnny's coming in with two bigger guys. God, I'm really in the corner. And then he's got two, <laughs> two smaller, two of the the smaller dudes who you you recognize one of them as Slimy Willie, and mm. uh, <laughs> and the other guy oh. and and this girl is leading leading them into the booth. So uh, you can kind of see from the front, you just see a glimpse of them coming towards you, but you you get a feeling that they don't they don't sense you right now, but. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly hang, uh, shove the uh, potion of poison to Aaron, give it to him, and be like, Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Good luck, boys. This is I'll it. also put the vial of WAP on the table. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're, so we're getting comfortable. I, th I guess we tell all the staff what the plan is. Uh, then they're going to come in with drinks at some point. That should be easy enough for me to put a poison into. <laughs> yeah. And then just uh, as soon as everyone sits down, then they can start clearing up. But then maybe keep a couple people as servers for our section. Mm. Okay. So as they come in, you see a bunch of other guys coming in behind them. And they're not following Guido Johnny. They're just kind of casually... Hanging out at the pool area. Well, we and... actually don't see this though, right? Because we're all in the booth. Oh right. Um, okay. But yeah. I did. I did tell Zuzu to follow them, so I actually do. I Zuzu know that they're all trailing. there. So when okay. Zuzu be back here with us? Yeah, yeah. So, so as soon as as soon as soon as um, Zuzu enters, I'll tell Zuzu to come back to me. Oh, jeez. Okay. We need Zuzu. so Zuzu can can maneuver the hallways and constantly keep yeah, watching that, and see good... what's up. Well, that makes sense too. If Zuzu was yeah. eavesdropping on them the whole time and then they left, Zuzu yeah, yeah. Said so, that. So, yeah. So Zuzu will keep stay in the hallway then. <laughs> um, yeah, I look to Leander and I'm like, when he starts reacting to the poison, should should only be a couple of minutes before it takes effect. That's when we'll strike. Okay. Well, I'll be waiting, and uh, I'll come in, and she kind of hides her gun under the pillow. She's gonna dance in our in our booth though, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you it's confirm like, okay. that? Did you confirm that she's willing to dance for Guido Johnny? <laughs> you are, oh, like, sorry, yeah, you are. Yeah, like, uh, you can dance, right? <laughs> I'm gonna dance for him. I mean, 
Wait, when when was this mentioned in the plan? I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, you I can don't remember. you can just like dance for yourself, and then he'll be there. Yeah, that's it's an empowering. Me. It's an empowering. Thing. Whatever it takes for me to kill him. There you go. I swear yeah. to God. The He's dance of never... death. I was getting ready to roll a deception there to help out. What I... <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> wish. He's gonna wish he never did what he did to my family. Oh, that fucking will. bastard. Show him and dance, and then, and then, yeah. And yeah, oh, I, 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 I adjust my hat. I get back into Archibald mode, and uh, <laughs> I, I guess I, I guess I'd wait outside in the hall to greet him. And as soon as I see him, I'll just be like, no, just "Hello there, the Johnny, old oh boy. Welcome to the Sultan's tent." Well, that was our dude's journey for today. Tune in next time on Rainbow Valley Radio, where we will be continuing our dude's journey. And I'll be sitting here continuing my journey as well, in my lonely shack in the middle of the desert, watching the sunset in a shimmering rainbow glow. And I wish you the best on your journey as well. May you all drift peacefully in the twilight, and may the stars be your guide. I'm your host, Bronson Rogers, signing off and good night.